Hi guys, I'm Karen, and today I'm gonna to take you on a woodland adventure with Luna the Rescue Dog. Go ahead and cross your legs. Get yourselves comfortable. Today, we're going on an adventure with Luna the Rescue Dog in a beautiful woodland. So go ahead and close your eyes. Sit tall. Imagine the crown of your head was reaching up to the big fluffy clouds above you. And tune in to the beautiful sounds of the woodland animals all around. Can you hear the birds in the trees above you? How about the sound of the leaves rustling in the trees? Now allow yourself to notice your very own breath. Take a big, long breath in, and as you breathe out, let it go with a big sigh. <sighs> Let's do that again. Breathe in. <sighs> One more. Blink your eyes open and come over onto your hands and knees. Before Luna starts her adventure, she starts to stretch. She reaches her tail up to the sky, lifts her gaze to the clouds, and then draws her tail between her legs, looking back at her waggling tail. Take a breath in, lift your tail up, look up to the clouds. And exhale, look back at your tail and wag it side to side. Let's do that one more time. Lift the tail up, look up to the clouds. And then exhale, look back at your wagging tail. We're gonna walk our hands back. And as we do, bring our feet back behind us and bring them wide on the mat. Imagine you're a little frog down by the side of the lake and the frog is stretching in the sunlight side to side. Luna the rescue dog watches that frog as it stretches and enjoys the morning sun. Can you lift your arm a little higher? Good, and then come to the other side. Take a big breath in, lift your hips all the way up. Walk your feet so they're side by side. We're gonna roll up super slow, head staying heavy, body rising up. Let's reach the arms all the way up. Look up, imagine you can see those big fluffy clouds and then try and grab them. One side reaching, and then the other. Good. Bring your hands together and you're gonna make a shape with the first fingers. Point them all the way up to the clouds. We're gonna sway side to side, just like the pine trees in a beautiful forest. Leaves moving over to one side, stretching the body, and then moving all the way over to the other. Can you hear your breath gently as you breathe in and breathe out? Good. Come all the way to center. Release your hands down by your side and roll your body forwards. Hands getting closer and closer. Reach them to the floor. And once they're there, let's walk them forwards. You're gonna lift your hips up really high. We're gonna make a shape a little bit like the red squirrel that plays in the woods. And the red squirrel is gonna swish its tail side to side as it hunts for food on the forest floor. Mm. 
walking your hands back towards your feet. You're going to rise all the way back up to stand. Bring those hands together, walking your feet side by side. Imagine that you are Luna, the rescue dog, and she can see and hear a heron right off in the distance. And she's going to creep towards that heron. So no peeking at your feet. I want you to lift your knees really high and then walk all the way to the top of your mat. How slow can you go? Creeping forwards until you can almost stand right next to that heron. Reach your arms up, breathe in. And as you breathe out, bring your arms by your side, let it go with a big sigh. And again. One more. Shall we see if we can make the sign of a heron? I want you to bring your feet side by side, about the same width as your hips. You're going to press down really firmly through your right foot and lift the other leg up. Lift it high and then reach the arms up. Imagine your arms are the wings of the heron and flap them. Breathe in, reach them up and then exhale, flap them down. Good. Inhale, reach up. This time as the arms come down, can you bring the foot onto your leg and balance? Good. Release that leg, bring the hands to your chest and come back to a quiet, peaceful breath, closing the eyes and imagining you can hear the sounds of those birds in the trees above you the sound of the leaves rustling in the trees. And quiet, steady breath. Take a breath in, blink the eyes open. And we're going to play with our heron pose on the other side. Lift the other knee up. Good. Can you lift it higher? Reach the arms up, reach up. Good, and then exhale, flap those wings down. Breathing in, reach up and flap the wings down. You're breathing out. Last one, breathe in, lift up. Could you look up? And as you flap your heron's wings down, bring that foot into your leg, coming into our tree pose. A little balance and play. And we'll step that foot down. Hands come back to your chest, the eyes close, and you come back to your quiet, calm breath. Can you hear that sound in the distance? Luna can hear the sound. So she heads down right next to the water's edge. She looks forwards, stretches up and then reaches her paws forwards, bending down, bringing her paws down to the water's edge. You're going to fold your body forwards, bring your nose to your knees and bring your knees to the forest floor. Luna spotted a sleeping swan. Let's mirror the sleeping swan, bringing our body down onto our legs, arms reaching out behind us, resting the head on the floor. Taking big breaths in and big breaths out. As you breathe in, let your fingertips crawl forwards. Watch my legs as they fold behind me. 
Can you roll all the way back and come to seated? Feet come in front of you, soles of the feet together, hands on your legs and I want you to flap your knees as if you were a beautiful butterfly. This beautiful butterfly is the very last woodland creature that Luna meets on her adventure. And we're going to finish our woodland adventure here, crossing our legs, bringing our hands down onto our legs. Close the eyes and allow yourself to breathe in a biggest, biggest breath from the belly and then exhale with a big sigh. And we take a moment to be completely still. Begin to notice the sound of your breath as you breathe in and as you breathe out. Allow your eyes to open. Bring your hands together right at your heart. You're going to lift your palms all the way up. Try and touch that sun above your head and then pull the sun down into your body. We finish our practice with a special word and that word is a thank you from me and a thank you from you. Namaste.